Not my new sweat top. TLS NCD, pick up the count on your mark. TLS copy. Countdown clock will resume on my mark. I found this little circuit diagram which is basically the, the essence of a Tesla Nikola Tesla tune coil this is about as ba basic as it gets the circuit diagram but what happens is what happens is the supply voltage is applied at the source transformer which you can see it says AC there which is the primary of a transformer winding and then that voltage is stepped up through the transformer which charges the little capacitor and when the capacitor is fully charged to the extent that it can bridge the spark gap, a little spark jumps across the spark gap induces a voltage in the secondary of the secondary transformer, the secondary coil, and that in tune with the secondary of the first transformer sets up a resonant induction in the primary of the receiver and one end of that primary receiver is grounded to earth and the other end has like a, what can only describe as a van de Graaff dome on the top and then through the whole tuned oscillation and the stepping up of the voltages and the, the increased pulse across the spark gap which in, increases the voltage as well you get a huge voltage on the primary of the second transformer and that's how the Tesla coil fires sparks off huge sparks like Tesla called it man-made lightning I believe but what I was thinking was What I was thinking was is that the Tesla coil, the Tesla tuned circuit, is actually being used in reverse. Now people are putting mains on the primary of the first transformer and inducing huge sparks across the primary or the secondary of the second transformer. And you know it's quite a phenomenon to make lightning in your garden. But I think that's a miscreative use of the circuit. I think Tesla did that as a phenomenon to impress his colleagues but I think the circuit is actually used as a way of capturing radiant energy from the atmosphere which is actually direct current from the sun and then through his tuning circuit if it's used in reverse then you're capturing the radiant energy and then you'll be producing a main source on the primary of the first transformer so we're actually using it backwards but if we turned it around and instead of using it to produce sparks to impress the neighbours then we use it to capture radiant energy and then we'd have an excellent use an excellent free source of electricity and I think that was one of Tesla's secrets I think he was such a genius he hid it in the circuitry and we didn't understand it and it's like a hundred years later and we're just starting to get Mr. Tesla's little joke. That's, that's basically the way it works. You put a voltage across the mains there, the mains of that pr primary of the uh, transformer, and stepped up to the secondary of that transformer, which charges the capacitor. When the capacitor is sufficiently charged and the voltage is built up, the voltage bridges the spark gap, which jumps.